So it's uh, we're filming now. Just uh, <laughs> I'm filming now. Filming Everyone now. know. Camera, you now know we're filming. <laughs> Don't. You're focusing in your, you're focusing in your head. Um, well, how would you respond to the phrase "political correctness gone mad"? Oh, it's a tricky one because, in some ways, you kind of do need like a bit of political correctness to stop like the massive bullies and in, in like the world just going out crazy and just I don't know, literally going mad on people being racist. <laughs> um. But on the other hand, it does kind of constrict creativity. Like, there's a difference between having an opinion and acting on the opinion. Yeah. So I feel like it's necessary in the world, but it doesn't need to be acted upon quite as heavily as nowadays. Like, so you think it's too policed, maybe? Like, it's too strict? Yeah, I'd say that's probably about the right way I'd put it. Like... If you go on any of these social media websites, you'll have loads of people doing political correctness on you. But uh, maybe you name any uh, of the social media sites because Reddit and Tumblr are big ones. Mm. You do get a bit from Facebook, but I don't. It's kind of like this barrier. Like when you're on the social media websites, it's much easier to say someone's doing something wrong. Mm. Whereas I feel like actually in person, a lot of few, lot fewer people would actually act on it. Yeah. So it's almost like I don't know, like I, you're pretending to be a good person. Almost, it's like if I've got the intention to be politically correct, but if you don't actually act on it, then why? Yeah, it almost. I don't know, like, so yeah, literally just pretending to be a good person on social media. And I feel like the phrase has been tossed around too much recently. Mm. Like it's just everywhere. Like you see it in films, you see it in books, you see it in newspapers all the time. I barely even read newspapers and I see it all the time there. Mm. And so it's just become it's just become just a phrase now. It's lost all meaning because people toss it around so often. It's just, it doesn't affect anyone anymore. That's the problem. The argument was, um, I saw that you were talking about how it's in TV and there was a recent thing where someone wrote, is Doctor Who becoming politically <laughs> too politically correct? Because um, they... Uh, introduced a gay companion character, and my thing of it was <laughs> the private eye did a big sketch on it, and it said something like, um, "Is Doctor Who trying to be too social realistic?" And I was like, "No, <laughs> it's a man who travels in time and space in a phone box." <laughs> like, the dolly's a proper. F- the Doctor turned into a proper fit bird. Not going really to correct in my mind. Oh, <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Would you say that as a generation we're quite PC wary? Like we're quite keen to um, maybe not offend and try and be more inclusive? We definitely understand the boundaries a lot more. Mm. Um, Like people know when they're doing stuff wrong, just a lot of people don't care as as much. Mm. Like there's definitely going to be areas and there's definitely going to be specific groups that will give less of a damn if they're being socially correct or anything Mm. and it's even in friendship groups and social groups there's going to be people to give less of a damn because they're going to be more blunt yeah like i feel you and me are just more blunt and we can make more jokes about it because we understand where the line is yeah and we understand personally like where like i feel like i could i'd know what would be too offensive to say to you like that's sort of what i do Mm. um well, would you say then uh, political correctness could have constraints on humour? Uh, this idea that no one is above having jokes made about them, but say there's got to be a line, obviously, where a joke is, I would disagree with, you know, something like blackface, where it's very explicitly racist or it's explicitly um, homophobic, for example, but like stuff like BuzzFeed or they do videos like Dear White People. Is blackface racist? Yes, yes it is. But, is it, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put that in. That's all I'm going to put in. Oh, do, do, you, do you get where I'm coming from, though? I get I get where you're coming from. <laughs> it's just become a symbolism of racism. It, I get entirely. Is, I mean, it's a symbol of racism because it's racist. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> well... <laughs> Um, okay, calm face. Well, okay. I had a really good point before that. Yeah, you did, but you got, um, lost, got lost in whatever that was. Wait. I feel like you have to understand the boundary between where it becomes a joke and when it just becomes bullying to a, like, a specific group. Yeah. Like, there definitely is that line where, like, comedians 
will generally know where it is. Mm. Frankie Boyle, he's been a bit tenuous, but yeah. most of his crews like hovered right around the line. Yeah, I think he's like the most out there one for political correctness gone mad. Yeah. So do you think like what do you think his his style of comedy is very anti sort of politically correct political correctness almost. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but would you would you see that his it is all parody? It's all not to be taken seriously. This is a man who it's a stage persona. You know, it's not exactly. Um, it's, it's obviously comedy. It's not meant to be taken seriously. It's just meant to be upbeat and trivialise the news, basically. Um, well, my concern with political correctness is that um, it doesn't allow sort of debate. And I feel like people, yes, there are people who will have problematic views, um, you know, sort of extreme sort of racism or homophobia and that sort of uh, people, who, like transphobia, and that, uh, et cetera. But I'd say if someone is maybe not as educated on those uh, fronts and they challenge it and they are shot down because they don't have the, you know, the pronouns correct, they don't have the, they don't know the correct sort of terminology, they, I feel like they're excluded rather than uh, included. They're, they're mm. not included in the, in the debate. They're just told, well, you're wrong. You can't be part of this. Um, would you say that you've ever, well, have you ever experienced sort of... What, uh, being left out, being just gunned down for not exactly knowing the right way to put my words? Yeah, because I feel like... You've got in trouble a lot. <laughs> I have got in trouble a lot. <laughs> Just earlier in this conversation. <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll cut in. <laughs> Would you say that you've ever, well, have you ever experienced sort of... What, uh, being left out, being just gunned down for not exactly knowing the right way to put my words? Yeah, because I feel like... You've got in trouble a lot. <laughs> I have got in trouble a lot. Just earlier in this conversation. <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll cut in. <laughs> that, one, that one clip. <laughs> so yeah, just earlier in this conversation. Um... <laughs> I feel kind of... Political correctness has become a wall which people hide behind. Okay. It's too... I don't think it should be a thing, but I understand why it is a thing, why it's necessary. Because until the entire world understands each other, understands each other personally, mm. we need these boundaries to keep people from bullying, keep the dicks away, mm. stop stop the crazy people from just taking over. But then, if there's people who are on the fence about stuff, and I mean, I, I, don't, mean, I don't mean that Oh, they'll titter off to being a racist if they don't get this sort of thing. But like, um, for example, people who voted, um, who voted leave in the EU referendum, a lot of them are treated as sort of like knuckle drug, uh, dragging racists because it's like you well you don't understand the issues. Well, clearly they do because like a massive amount of the population voted it, and it's not just young people um, or old people who voted for. You know, I feel like there needs to be this debate within, especially university campuses, because I feel like there's a popular political opinion to have, mm. um, and there's an unpopular one. But by shooing them away, I, I think it open it, it allows for more division rather than you know cooperation and like, the fact that there is so many political parties must mean that they all must have valid points and valid ways for the country to go. Mm. So they all need to be discussed as equals. Yeah. Whatever social media says, like there's been a lot of rallying for the young people to vote Labour recently. Mm. I'm not, not trying to put which way you should vote, but also it shouldn't just be construed that all young people should vote Labour. Like That's you all. should take every point that the party's making and then make your own decision. And I'm not saying you should vote just based on pers personal regard. Mm. Like, if you're like a rich business owner, you shouldn't vote conservative just to make yourself richer. Yeah. But I'm saying you have to take that into consideration as well as the welfare of the country, because eventually that's going to come back round and hit you in the ass if you just vote selfishly. So, is it, are you are you trying to say that maybe political correctness is? Um takes away from sort of gaining an informed whole opinion because whilst it's important to you know allow people to have this voice and this sort of safe space to one of them of the phrase 
you do need the whole picture sometimes and yes you might have some person and he says well I don't I think we've got too many immigrants in this country rather than shoot him down and say no that's really racist people are like why do you think that why why is this a problem for you because if he genuinely feels it's an issue wouldn't it be better to hear him out rather than completely shut down his opinion for the sake of I don't know just the, the, sake br- of... the brutal truth is better than small lie yeah you just you do need to see this whole picture you need to make your own decision based on all everything you've seen